Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog is going to be on the fourth hidden figure and only living hidden figure, Christine Darden. But before we get into Christine's story, here's the intro and I'll be right back. Christine Darden was born Christine Mann on September 10th, 1942 to school teacher Desma I. Cheney and insurance agent Noah Horace Mann in Monroe, North Carolina. Both parents encouraged her to pursue a quality education. Starting from age three, Darden was brought by her mother to her own classroom where she taught and at age four, Darden was enrolled in kindergarten. During elementary school, Darden took a great interest in breaking apart and reconstructing mechanical objects like her bicycle. Darden finished her last two years of primary school at Allen High School, a boarding school in Asheville, North Carolina. She graduated as the class valedictorian in 1958 and subsequently received a scholarship to attend Hampton University, a historically black college then known as Hampton Institute. During her studies at Hampton, she participated in some of the early protests of the civil rights movement. She participated in several student sit-ins alongside her other black peers. Darden graduated from Hampton with a BS in mathematics in 1962. She also earned a certification and taught high school mathematics for a brief time. In 1963, Christine Darden married Walter L. Darden Jr., a middle school science teacher. In 1965, she became a research assistant at Virginia State College studying aerosol physics. At Virginia State, Darden earned a Master's of Science in 1967 and taught mathematics there. That same year, she was hired by NASA as a data analyst at Langley Research Center. Darden started in the computer pool performing calculations as a computer for engineers. She also began automating the process by writing computer programs. After moving into more aeronautical research, in 1973, Darden was promoted to a position as aerospace engineer by her superior, John V. Becker. Ironically, she had nearly been fired earlier. Her early findings in the 1960s and 1970s resulted in a revolution of aerodynamic design to produce low boom sonic effect. In 1983, Darden earned a Ph.D. in engineering from George Washington University. After she earned her Ph.D. with the support of NASA, Darden became known for her research as one of NASA's preeminent experts on supersonic flight and sonic boom. Darden was promoted 
as a manager and she advanced to become the first African-American woman at Langley to be promoted into the senior executive service, the top rank in the federal civil service. In 1999, she became the director of NASA's Aerial Performing Center Management Office, where she was responsible for Langley Research in Air Traffic Management and Aeronautical Programs managed by other NASA centers. Darden also worked with Langley Strategic Planning Office and was the head of Langley Strategic Communications Office at the time of her retirement in 2007. Darden is the author of more than 50 publications in the field of high lift wing design in supersonic flow, flap design, sonic boom prediction, and sonic boom minimization. She has been active in several organizations, including as an associate fellow of the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, AI. AA, Secretary of the Aeroacoustic Technical Committee of the AIAA, Beta Kappa Chi National Scientific Honor Society, Kappa Mu Epsilon Honorary Mathematics Society, the National Technical Association, and the Sigma Pi Sigma Physics Society. Among the awards Darden has received are the Lifetime Achievement Award for Women in Aerospace, the Black Engineer of the Year Award for Outstanding Achievement in Government, the NASA Outstanding Leadership Medal, and the NASA Equal Opportunity Medal. In 2019, the United States Congress gave her a Congressional Gold Medal, Congress' highest expression of national appreciation for distinguished achievements and contributions by individuals or institutions. By the time she arrived at NASA, women working in the computer pro were integrating but like the women in the movie, she initially found it frustrating that she was doing calculations without being told what they were for. So she got out of the computer pool and into engineering. There she worked in an environment more surrounded by all white men and very few women. She later learned that Mary Jackson, who was featured in the Hidden Figures movie, advocated for a promotion for her at NASA, knowing that Dr. Darden had already done work comparable to the others who were advancing. Dr. Darden said of her work at NASA, I liked the challenge. I also liked not doing the same thing every day. Once I got into the engineering area, I am writing programs and designing models. I'm testing them in the wind tunnel. I'm writing papers and giving papers. I enjoyed the people I worked with. There were a lot of smart people there. She also encourages parents to expose their children early to math programs. She says, don't let people tell your girls that girls aren't engineers, which I still hear people say today. I hope that this has been interesting and helpful information for you guys on the fourth of the hidden figures. Bet y'all didn't know who the fourth hidden figure was. Please follow me on all my other social media and I will leave additional information in regards to Christine Darden down in the description of this video. Please leave me comments and let me know what you think about the video. Also, share this video out and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and blessings. I'm out. You